Hello everyone, Jonathan Moraes here and I'm going to record this video to support you uh, again uh, to code your local environment using Docker and in this post I'm going to show you how to use my Docker image to set up your PTP environment and in this version I'm going to use the PHP Storm, not VS Code, with Symfony project but we still can use the xdebug, the integration between the container and the host and all the details about how to use this you can use you can check uh, this uh, post I'm wrote and my repository on github as well so just make sure to choose here the proper branch if you're using the Mac system if you're not you can use the second one and here you have all the information you needed and once you just uh, check out or clone this project you just need to go to open this with your IDE in my case I'm using PHP Storm and basically the first thing you should do is just open the PHP file or the readme file and copy this command here to build your image so let's copy here uh, it's a bit longer uh, just paste and press enter if you should have the docker installed already in your environment and the image will be built this time here was fast because I already built it locally so I have the, as cache in my docker instance and the main difference here is uh, this command this group of commands they are going to sync your host user with your container user and that means any command or any installation you do inside the container will reflect on your host and vice versa another nice stuff about this image is here I just have the normal stuff for a PHP project but if you wish to anything more do anything more for example you can just uncomment these lines and build again this image and then you're going to have uh, this dependence to support your dev environment of course you are free to change this as as you wish but this is just a, a small guide to how to use it and here once you are just built the your image the next stuff you should do is just uh, uh, docker compose up dash d to turn on your containers and now you have the nginx and the php the PHP will be our main container, the Nginx is just a web server and basically this is already enough to support your environment so if you come here and just access localhost you're going to see the PHP fa info and we have here the, the xdebug info as well and we can just test our debug system so basically this is the index where you have the php info x debug info and php info we can for example just put here a breakpoint and turn on the debug and if you refresh the page you are going to see the debug it's already working inside the container okay so basically you can just do the normal debug stuff and uh, it's Another thing you should do when you are going to work with a debugger in the um, um, PHP Storm, it's here. So basically you should come here on this configuration from PHP. You just choose your version of the PHP and here in this CLI interpreter, you should click here and for, of course will be empty when you do this. So you just come here, select Docker and you should select the docker and not docker composer and once you select here they are going to show this option to you and uh, when you confirm you are going to check this information here so they are going to show the executable from the docker image you will have turned on in our environment uh, the x debug will show here too and this information once you have this the another stuff you should take care of is this map here Probably, I don't remember now, but they are going to show you like web server, OPT, user, something else. And here you should just click and 
click here and edit this path and then you're going to edit to become like this var www html because this is the path inside the container where it is mapped here to this folder okay you can just check this map here in our docker composer for example so this is the mapping we're doing to our volume inside the nginx web server okay so once you do this your uh, php storm will integrate with xdebug inside the container the next stuff you should take aware is about uh, how to installation installate new projects here so basically uh, each project they were going to live here in this folder so you have like the workspace and all the projects are going to act exist here each one in in in, in his each uh, in his folder own folder and you're going to have of course a configuration file to each project so basically will be the same stuff uh, you just need to copy paste and change some change some values so let's do this together just to show to you so let's come here to the terminal i'm going to clean this so let's go inside the container the docker exec dash it php it's the name of our image and bash once you do this we are already inside the container as i told you in this folder so if you do a ls here you can see the public it's the same folder as here and inside this image we have everything git everything you need to work you have inside this image already so i'm just going to copy this command to create a fresh symphony project and i'm going to paste here and execute uh we are with the debug on uh, once they are installing this here i forgot to change the name of this project so we are going to create this folder here my project directory uh, but while they are doing this i'm going to copy and paste this configuration file my project 2 is the name i'm going to give to this project to. of course you're going to choose your own project name you can have several one of them uh, and here i'm going just to change this to for example my project to dash test once these are going to be my server name i would prefer to use dashes but here will be instead of public my project name and then slash public because the entry point to laravel and symphony are the the let's check if it's still running here no it's not running the entry point is the public folder i believe this have an issue because the debugger let's just run again and this time i'm going to put the name i wish so it will save me an extra work my project too now they're creating probably it's enough to work this and uh, now let's see yes it was already created the project so let's wait this error just happened because it's a fresh installation so my git doesn't have this normal information and once you do this of course you cannot access this address yet so if you come here copy and try to access uh, nothing are going to happen so once you do this in your local environment the thing you should do is the following so just edit your local host files to support the news this new address you choose it so basically sudo vi uh, slash etc slash hosts your password and here is just a your host that you have so i'm going to press i to insert and i'm going to type the same address here dot zero dot zero dot one and paste the address i wish so basically if you are going to have three projects here each one should have an entry here and all the hosts will be the same they are all of them pointing to localhost but the nginx now know how to handle these names to you so basically i'm going to press ask column 
right and kit enter and now we can just come here and refresh uh, probably when this happened i did something wrong let's see local host ah of course uh, this is happening because i changed this and i didn't stop my containers so we need just to stop the container and turn on again so docker uh, compose down okay and docker compose up docker compose up dash d when this happened um, and now this is the local host and this is the project oh it's not working uh, let me check here um well well let's check uh, project two project two dash two public the public it's here yes my project ah, okay uh this is happening because i keep the default server for everyone here i'm going just to remove this from this guy and this guy don't need to have two defaults. Uh, let's stop this now. Let's start again. Up mm, and refresh. Okay, that was the reason. Okay, so it's just a small detail. I'm going to update this on the next image, and then you don't need to take care about this. But basically now you have this localhost, localhost working is one address and you have the second address working as well. Of course, you are going to have project three are going to work as the same way. The only thing you should always take care is just to just change this configuration and this second one. And once you get more skillet with uh, Nginx, you can just update more stuff here. I hope this is good for help you and have a good coding. Bye bye.